This video is for educational and informational purposes only. Mutual funds and stocks talked about in these videos are purely used as an example. This video is not meant for advisory or recommendation purpose. Hello everyone, I am Anish from Allies Blue. Welcome back to our technical analysis series. In this video series, we are going to explore various techniques and indicators used in the field of technical analysis. Please watch the entire video and do like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get new video updates. To know more about the basics of technical analysis like types of chart, support and resistance, candlestick patterns and the chart patterns, watch my previous in the technical analysis category. In this video, we are going to discuss about the double bottom chart pattern, its price action and the execution methodology. Come, let's get into this in detail now. Double bottom chart pattern is a classical chart pattern which is used to, to identify the potential reversal from a downtrend. This pattern consists of two swing lows and one swing highs. It looks like a double bottom structure which means two swing lows in a bottom level and the swing high is known as neckline. If the neckline is taken out, the price is taken out, the neck out, neckline means we can expect there is a potential breakout from that level. Now you can see the price is falling from a higher level to lower level. In a lower level, you can see there is a pattern formation over there. It consists of two swing lows and these two swing lows look like a two bottom. The right side bottom which is known as right bottom and the left side bottom which is known as left bottom. The swing high which is we can draw a horizontal line in the swing line uh, which is known as neckline or resistance we can say. If the resistance or neckline is taken out, we can expect the price will uh, get a rally from that current level. And that is our entry. There are two types of entry. Lately, we can discuss in the things in TradingView platform. Uh, swing low will act as our stop loss and a higher level resistance or a higher level supply zone will act as our target. Now we can move on to the TradingView platform to understand this concept very detailed. Come. Welcome back to our TradingView platform. Here we will understand the price action and the execution methodology of a double bottom chart pattern. Right. So, first the double bottom price action look like this only. So, it consists of two bottom. The first bottom we call it as a, a right bottom. I just mark it as a RB which signifies the uh, right bottom and the second one is left bottom. This is left bottom. So it's the price action of the pattern is it's look like a simple consolidation only. It's a simple accumulation phase only here. So here this stop is known as the neckline. This is the neckline or we call it as a resistance. So neckline or resistance, I just mark it as a text neckline or resistance. We all know if a resistance is broken and again the resistance will become a support. If this resistance is the price is taken out this resistance after the resistance will become a support and this uh, support will act as a act as to price will bounce from the support level. So this is how the price action work. So here we have two types of entry mechanism. So first thing is we have the entry only after the neckline is taken out and this another one condition is there. If the pattern is like this also that is not an issue. So there is the lower low if the right bottom and the left bottom as a lower low formation is also not an issue or like this also it's not an issue. But the condition is then a neckline should be taken out the price should take out the neckline after the neckline only we have to enter in the trade here there are two conditions the first condition is aggressive entry mechanism aggressive entry mechanism means after the price taken out the neckline directly we can enter into a trade and our stock loss will be on the low swing which whether it is a lb or whether it is an rp so here is our stop loss with some gap and our target is based on the stop loss only so here our stop loss is 16.6 points means our first target is always 1 is to 1 and the second target is 1 is to 1.5 and 1 is to 2 remains continuous. Right. This is how we can work in the aggressive entry mechanism or else we can go with conservative entry mechanism also. The conservative mechanism is uh, we all know if the resistance is broken the resistance will become a support. Once the price retesting or retrace coming for a retracement towards the support level means there we can enter our trade. So here we can enter our trade. The stop loss remains the same only. The lower uh, swing of the bottom and our stop loss is based on the uh, levels or based on the risk reward ratio. 1 is to 2 or 1 is to oh, 1.5. 
sometimes we miss the conservative entry mechanism all the times we price never come for a retracement so better we can go with the aggressive mechanism the aggressive mechanism the problem is we have only the limited rr sometimes the breakout will be here the candle breakout will be here we will get only the limited risk to reward ratio if we go with the conservative mechanism in we will get more risk to reward with the same targets right now we can go to go and identify some patterns in exit industry uh, i am just going to daily time frame so in a daily time frame right so here right now you can see the price is from 195 to yeah 192.702 the price is continues in a dropping zone you can see the price is getting reduced from the 192 to now the price is trading around 172.05 right so now we can see here is there any pattern formation is there right. now you can see there is a right bottom sorry left bottom and again right you can see here it's a right bottom left bottom and right bottom and our neckline is over here so this is the major resistance right so here you can see i'm just marking the neckline here you can see previously it acted as a resistance again it acted as a resistance and you can see over here also here also it acted as a resistance uh, this level acted as a resistance here it acted as a resistance here it acted as a support it's a major level right in a daily time frame if this level is taken out if the price is closes above this level means we can go for a long side opportunity with the stop loss of uh, the lower bottom uh, now we can see if the price will broke or not yeah now you can see the price is given a good breakout so here we can enter over position and our stop loss will be on the lower swing which means the lower bottom with some gap some gap means it's for a buffer purpose only and our stop loss target is based on 1 is to the, always we go with tar target of 1 is to 1 and the second target will be 1 is to 1.5 second target will be 1 is to 1.5 and the final target will be 1 is to 2 or more we, accordingly we can trial our targets now we can see right so again the price came for a retracement this is the conservative entry mechanism directly on the price you know, where the resistance is there there will enter our positions so here we will get some more rs2 reward before that there is 1 is to 2 if now it is 1 is to 2.21 now we can see the price is getting rally from the support level it acts as a before that it acts as a resistance now it acts as a support and uh, now we can see just increase our some more targets over 32 percent i just take it as a 50 percentage just take it as a 50 percentage right yeah now you can see it is approximately 50 percentage just increasing the replace bar speed easily 50 percentage target is achieved and re remaining also we just continue with the flow right here also you can see there is one more pattern is there one more pattern is there one bottom neckline and the second bottom right left bottom and right bottom and this is the neckline if this neckline is taken out again we can expect a sudden rally in this price right you can see now the neckline is broken out so we can continue this trade or we can enter some if you close this trade means you can enter some new trades over here and the stop loss will be here stop loss will be here 1 is to 1.5 here i am taking 1 is to 1.5 yes sir first target right so let's see if target achieved or not right still the targets is remaining you can see it's achieved around uh, 1 is 2 i think 1 is to 1 target is completed 1 is to 1 target is completed uh, from the previous trade approximately we will get 70 percentage within a span of from may to 
December from the 23 May to 23 December will get around 70 percentage return by using the uh, this pattern you can see here double bottom pattern in a daily time frame so this same pattern will work in intraday also but the condition is you go, go with only one minute or three minute time frame bigger time frame we didn't get the momentum for intraday so we can go with one minute or three minute i'm just going in nifty uh, in a one minute time frame to identify this pattern one minute time frame so let's see is there any pattern formation over here or it's achieved our target of one is to one or one is to 1.5 so here it's not a pattern see here it's a pattern you can see here here it's a pattern the price is completely getting dropped first bottom and second bottom if the price taken out the neckline this is the neckline price taken out on this one that is our entry let's see yeah now the price taken out the in one minute time frame now the price taken out the and here is our almost 73 points is our stop loss and our first target is 1 is to 1 only 1 is to 1 here it is the same 74 points or 75 points will be the target let's see if the targets hit or not right the same day itself the 1 is to 1 target is achieved and it achieved let's see 1 is to 1.5 achieved or not Yeah, on the next trading day itself, 1 is to 1.5 and 1 is to 2 is also achieved. This is a kind of BTST trade, uh, buy today and sell tomorrow trade. You can see. So here is our aggressive entry. And again, you can see the price came for a retracement over the uh, neckline level, which means in the support level. This is how we can work a pattern for intraday in indices. In Bank Nifty also, there are lots of examples over there. Bank Nifty. Yeah. So in a one minute time frame, here also you can see a pattern. Price is dropping down. Again it pull back. Again a pull back. So this is the neckline. Once the price taken out the neckline, this is the neckline. This is the neckline. Once the price taken out the neckline, neck yeah. Here is the perfect breakout. Here is our entry. Here is our entry, and the stop loss will be on the lower bottom. It means lower swing. So one is to here I am taking one is to two for the target or else we can use the market levels. So here I am expecting some rejections because here I am expecting some rejections and also here I am expecting some rejections. Let's see if the price respect our market levels or not but it will give slight rejections also you can see here the first rejection you can see from the level the first rejection you can see from the level and the second rejection you can see and the price went up to this level approximately it give 1 is to 3 trade 1 is to 3 approximately 228 points rally from the after the pattern breakout so this is how we can use the pattern in intraday and the investing purpose for an investing purpose we always go with a bigger time frame like daily weekly or a bigger time frame like 125 minutes or 75 minutes and these time frames are enabled in our Anvil platforms or else if you are working in a intraday means we can work with one minute or three minute only not more than that for five minutes 15 minutes and we can work for swing trade kind of setup hope you all understand about the price action and the execution methodology of a double bottom chart pattern see you in the next video with another interesting technical analysis concept until then subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get new video updates this is anish signing off thank you Investment in securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.